importance of keeping your word of trust? Do you believe Senator Manchin kept his word to you? And how do you rebuild trust with progressives in your party to advance your legislation now? You know, I told you before, you've heard me say this before, some people think maybe I'm not Irish because I don't hold a grudge. Look, I want to get things done. I still think there's a possibility of getting a bill back better done. And what I don't want to do is get into And Joe went on TV today, and uh, I don't know if it was TV or not, I'm told he was speaking to the Liberal caucus in the House and said, if Joe Biden didn't mislead you, I misled you. And so, look, I, I'm, not, I'm not looking for let me say something. You saw what happened yesterday. All the talk about how my Build Back Better plan was going to increase inflation, going to cause these debts and all the like. What happened? Goldman Sachs and others said, if we don't pass Build Back Better, we're in trouble because it's going to grow the economy. Without it, we're not going to grow. And what happened? Stock prices went way down. It took a real dip. If you take a look, the bad, I wasn't, everybody thinks because I quoted 17 Nobel laureates saying this is going to help inflation. Think about it in terms of you're a hard working person and you're making 60 grand if you're alone, if you're a mom or just on her own, or if you're making 80 grand, mom and dad 90 grand, like a lot of people do, and you're worried about inflation, you should be worried about it because it's a devastating thing for people who are working class and middle class folks. It really hurts. Where is most of the cost now? The cost is finding in gasoline, even though I put, even though I was able to bring it down 12 cents a gallon, it will come down more, I believe. We talked about what the cost of food prices going up, et cetera. But look what's in, look, look, look what's in Build Back Better. Child care, you can reduce it by up to 70%. That'll be the difference between 20 million women who go on back in the worst force being able to go back if you pass it. We're talking about we're talking about health care, insulin. In a situation, we got, we got 200,000 kids with type 1 diabetes. You know what it's costing? It costs somewhere between 10 cents and $10 to come up with a formula, okay? A while ago, right? You know what it's costing on average? $560, a, $640 a month, up to $1,000 a month. What do you do if you're a mom and a dad working with minimum wage, busting your neck. You look at your kid, and you know if you don't get that vaccine for him, or that, excuse me, if you don't get that drug for him, if you don't get that, 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 that if you'd be able to take that, what happens? Otherwise, you can go into a coma, maybe die. Not only do you put the kid's life at stake, you strip away all the dignity of a parent looking at their child. I'm not joking about this. Imagine being a parent, looking at a child, and you can't afford. You have no house to borrow against. You have no savings. It's wrong. But all the things in that bill are going to reduce prices and costs for middle class and working class people. It's going to reduce their costs. What, what, what's inflation? having to pay more than the money you have because things have gone up. Well, bring down all those costs across the board from child care to a child care tax credit. But I'm not supposed to be having this press conference. Mr. President, did Senator Manchin break his commitment to you? When you announced the framework, the White House says that all 50 senators were believed to get behind it. All 50 Democratic senators. So did Senator Manchin break his commitment to you? Senator Manchin and I are going to get something done. Thank you. Are you still having the car in the contract, Sir, do you still have the car with the desk?